You guys, I have a bug infestation. I checked one of my plants recently and there were mealy bugs everywhere. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to get rid of these things and how to regularly check for them so you don't have to deal with the problems that I'm about to deal with. So let's get started and let me show you the plant that we're dealing with. When looking at this plant, even from every angle, we can't really tell that anything's wrong with it. From what I can see, it looks like a pretty healthy plant. And that's the problem with mealybugs. You don't see them until it's way too late. They usually hide right where the leaves meet the stem or in other like node areas of the plant. They find the little cracks and gaps to hide in and they sit under the leaves. So unless you actively look, you won't find an infestation of these things until it's far too late and there's way too many. The way I realized that this one was infested was by seeing a single mealybug sitting on the leaf and that's when I investigated and I looked further. As you can see, there's tons of them all over the stem. They're in every little nook and cranny. This leaves us with only one option, and that is to burn this plant. There's no other way. Roasted mealybugs, mmm. Just kidding guys, I would never try and purposely harm my plant, even if it is infested. These mealybugs actually look kind of harmless. They're just like these little white snowflake looking creatures that barely move and don't really look to be doing too much. One of the main concerns with these bugs and why they're terrible to have on your plant is because of what they excrete. They excrete a substance called honeydew and it's a really sticky sugary solution and it creates an easy way for mold and fungus to take root on your plant. And they also just take away overall nutrients from the plant as they feed on it. Now this is really important. If you find mealybugs on one plant, chances are the plants near it will also have mealybugs. Because it takes so long to identify these and figure out that they're actually on your plant, they've usually already spread to nearby neighbors. So this is another plant, actually the same kind, and as you can see, they're under the leaves and they're on the stem and in the nooks and crannies in which you saw on the other plant. I scraped some of them off the leaf so you can get a better look, and as you can see, they're not moving too quickly. It's crazy how quick they can actually infest multiple plants when they move so slow. It looks like some of them can't even upright themselves when flipped on their back. So, here's a quick solution you can make up at home that you can easily treat these with. Here's what you're going to need. One spray bottle, some rubbing alcohol, and then just some plain old water. I do about a 40-60 solution, meaning 60% water and 40% rubbing alcohol. I wouldn't go above 50, and this is something you're going to want to test on a small portion of your plant before you apply it to the entire plant. You may have to dilute the alcohol even more if you see that your leaves are sensitive to it. Once you've made your mixture, shake it up really good, and then we can start applying it to the plants. I apply it very liberally. This is a very cheap solution, so you don't have to feel bad about wasting it. And I just soak every surface. Make sure you really lift up leaves and get under the leaves and really get deep down to the base of the plant. You've got to get this solution in where the leaves meet the stem, otherwise you won't get rid of them all. Make sure you do this then every other day for the next week or so, just to make sure you really kill them all. There could be eggs that you might miss or that are just far too small for the solution to actually hit. So you want to keep treating the plants for a while just to make sure no one matures old enough to lay more eggs. Once you feel like you've got it under control, just keep a really good eye on your plants. And again, watch neighboring plants. Another outbreak might spring up somewhere else. Well guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video and even learned something. Just a few extra tips, make sure when buying new plants that you always check them over for things like this. It's best to quarantine a plant away from the rest of your plants when you first get it for a week or two just to make sure nothing spreads. It'd be terrible if you lost your entire plant collection because you bought another plant recently. Always look for signs of these even when buying a plant too. I hope all this information was useful and I hope you guys never have to experience a large infestation of bugs. May your plants grow strong and healthy. See you guys next time.